Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janice. I am 25 years old. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and I do videos on vlogging content, lifestyle content, and also do books and school and just kind of a mesh of videos so if you're interested in any of that content please subscribe down below follow along on my journey i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry if the audio is very echoey right now i'm currently sitting in my new apartment yes so you've already seen the video before this where i moved so right now it is Friday, April 8th, and I have no furniture. So I, I do, that's a lie. I have furniture, I just don't have a couch yet. So I'm hoping once we do get a couch, um, this echo will not be as disturbing. So I'm sorry about that. It feels very weird to be filming right now in a new place. I haven't filmed since I was in my last apartment, so bear with me on the awkwardness i'm just getting comfortable here as well i feel like this week was the longest week of my life ever since moving i did not take a day off like the only days i took off was to move and that wasn't a day off like that was just so insanely stressful and then i jumped right back into work i worked through the weekend and through the week and now it's friday i didn't even explain what this video was going to be i honestly don't even know what it's going to be so i think it's just going to be a few random days in my life getting adjusted in my new apartment and showing you guys around the new apartment there's really not a lot to show the only thing i'm very proud of is my bookshelf because that's of course the first thing that i set up in my new place and now today i'm actually going to take a trip with my boyfriend we have to go to bob's furniture we have to pick out a different couch because the couch that we ordered didn't fit through the door so the delivery couldn't be completed and now we're kind of just in this weird limbo of like okay now we have to go back and look for something else and that's very stressful but honestly I'm really in love with the place. I'm trying to be patient about the furniture situation, but I really just, I, I need a couch. Like I have been sitting on this chair. I also have this chair behind me um, from my room that you've probably seen in previous vlogs. That used to be like the clothes that I just throw all of my laundry on chair. So that I've been using to watch TV. I'm just honestly, I really need a couch. Okay, now that the couch talk is over, let's talk about school quickly i am literally a hundred and eighty hours away from finishing my internship however i'm going to finish but i still have to go till june 24th but i just won't have to log hours which is going to be great because i'm tired of doing that i'm tired of everything to be honest i'm very burnt out and yes i did this to myself i overworked myself I don't take a lot of days off and when I do, I still do things or I'm thinking about doing things. These are all my issues, not complaining, just explaining what's going on. And where I'm at currently, I handed in my FBA BIP. I actually got a lot of praise from my professor that she really liked the paper and honestly, a girl just loves to be validated sometimes. Like I really needed it. I was very stressed out over it and when she told me that, I was like, Thank you. So really excited to get feedback back from that paper. I'm almost done with my counseling paper. My counseling report is due April 26th, which is right after the break. I'm also preparing for the break coming up. I only have to go in next week, Monday and Tuesday, and I'm off the 13th until the 25th. Hallelujah is all I could say. I need the break so badly, guys. I need a break. and. and like I'm gonna actually take a break where I take the break and enjoy the break. I'm gonna obviously still have reports to do and stuff like that here and there, but I'm going to try my best to, you know, sleep in a little, go on my walks, just try to reset because honestly, March was really stressful, moving was really stressful, and now that that part's over. I'm just excited to get to a break and have time to like put more things away. As like it's very echoey in here because I really don't have a lot in here. It's literally just the TV, TV stand, I'm charging my Kindle and I have my bookshelf and a smaller bookshelf in here and the chairs. That's literally all that's in this room. So I'm gonna show you guys the bookshelf. 
Okay, you guys, here's the bookshelf. I'm sorry if things are shaky. I can't find my camera stabilizer right now, but I wanted to show you this so badly. So I'm gonna start from the top. Up here, I just have some random Funko Pops. I just read Harry Potter um, through audiobook and I'm slowly starting to become obsessed with it. I've watched all the movies. I just never read any of the books. So I wanted to put my Harry Potter pop right in the front. Easter's coming. I got a bunny. I think this was from the Dollar Tree or something like that. Next shelf I have, okay, there's really no clear organization. I'm just getting comfortable with them myself, so this is going to change, I'm sure. But this, I kind of just have all my romance slash dark romance-ish. I mean, the only dark romance I have here is Priest, and then I have, like, timed romances slash history books, history or books that were written in times of history can, can be fiction or nonfiction. And on the side, I just also have leftover romance books that are hardcovers. I'm trying to leave all the hardcovers laying flat because I don't want them to like crinkle at the bottom. That's right. That absolutely drives me crazy when there's like a little crinkle at the bottom after you've had it popped up for so long. So yeah, that's just a little, that's an ish with me. Next shelf, I have a binder filled with all the letters that I got from my boyfriend while he was in basic training last year. Fun fact, he left a year ago, two days ago. Very emotional time, um, I'm going through it. <laughs> but I like to keep them here just in case we want to go through it. And I don't know, it's just very nostalgic. And kind of just makes you like appreciate the person more. Okay, anyway, moving on. I have a bunch of other random hardcovers. I really do want to read Gallant this month. I don't know if I'm going to get to it, but I want to try. I have Aragon and Realmbreaker. Again, these are just random hardcovers. I just didn't want them facing up. And I have some more romances that I obviously did not get to yet. So very excited about these. This is a cup I actually got around Halloween time this year, and I got it custom made through someone on Instagram, but I love Hocus Pocus, and I just want to celebrate it year-round. And then I just have my Alexa here. Don't turn on. Thank you. Okay. Now, also hanging off here, I just have a bag that I picked up from Box Lunch, and it says, would you like me to find... And it just says, would you like me to find you a box? And that was in the Lord of the Rings for you guys who aren't Lord of the Rings fans. It's just a really funny line and I love the bag and I think it's going to be so cute for spring. So I bought it, but for now I just hung it off of the bookshelf because I felt like it went with the aesthetic. Next shelf here, I'm starting a book of the month side. I haven't read Like a Sister yet but I did get it for this month's uh, book of the month subscription. It came pretty quick and I have just my Polaroid camera and my little Grogu book. The Harry Potter, I just feel like I want this one on display because it looks so pretty. The cover just, I don't know, really speaks to me. And then I have another bunch of random uh, hard covers on the side. Honestly, I think I'm gonna move this one up. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna move this one up. This is all the Akatar uh, books. I still have not read this one. I'm waiting until May. Guys, mark my words, May is coming. I will be reading that. The second I finish my counseling paper, I'm picking that book up off the shelf. Mark my words. This is a book sleeve I actually got from Book By You, and it's just Reese and Feyre, and um, they're just, they're gorgeous people. I don't know, I really love it, and I can't wait to use it to carry the book around. On the side, another bunch of random books, and I also have the, um, Lord of the Rings series, never gotten to it yet, but it's on my list. Now, down here is just a weird complication of things. I have Twilight, Midnight Sun. I never finished Midnight Sun. I was halfway through it and I stopped. How do I even call myself a Twilight fan? I don't know, I just do. I also have a bunch of random books that I got from work for free. They were re renovating like the shelves and they were getting rid of all the books and I was like, please give me some books. So I took um, The Fellowship, To Kill a Mockingbird, Dear Evan Hansen, and The Outsiders. I remember this being the first book that made me cry like ever um, when I was reading when I was younger. I read this in seventh grade. So it's been a while and I just, I don't know, I really want to reread it. It looks like obviously it's going to be a quick read. I think I should really 
get to that. Next up, I have all the Harry Potter books. Like I said, I listened to the first one in audio clip, but I think next time I'm going to try to actually read the physical book. I have all the physical books, I just haven't read them. I feel like this is like a mood kind of book, just like the Sarah J Mass books. I have to be in the mood to read them, and I'm just not right now, so that's okay. Um, and then I have, and then I have just a random like younger kid type of books that I've read or that I appreciate that I kept and some graphic novels, cooking books, random hardcover books that I have just on the side. That's kind of it for the bookshelf. For the, This is the main bookshelf. Now let me show you guys the little one that I have like right next door to it. Okay, just a disclaimer, this isn't staying here in the living room. This is just here for the moment. Um, I'm going to rearrange everything once I get the couch. But right now, all I have on the top shelf is Bridgerton. I got the next two after I watched the second season. I was like, oh, it's that time of the year where I, where I buy like the next few Bridgerton books. So I bought the next two. I don't know when I'm going to read them, but I love The Viscount Who Loved Me, the book. I thought the Net Netflix series was good. There was just some things that they left out that they could have definitely put in and like definitely got a good crowd reaction from it. So I don't know why they left that stuff out. But anyway, not going to rant about Bridgerton. Then I have some dark romances and the Addicted series, which I only have three books to. I only read the first one. I haven't continued. I have to do that That's this summer. And I also got an arc of She Gets the Girl. I know a lot of people are reading this now, so I'm excited to pick this up. I hope I can read this in April. Again, I'm really trying my hardest with the reading. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the books. You could also just skip over this in the vlog. My next shelf is literally just the Harry Potter Illustrated. And I have some like mix of fantasy, mystery, and John Cena. And then I have all of my textbooks at the bottom. I hope that wasn't too boring. <laughs> so I'm going to actually now just... I'm going to show you guys like an overview of the apartment once it's like more complete because, and I don't want to be like that, like I didn't want to show you the whole thing. It's not like that. I just want to have the couch in here before I show you guys the rest of the apartment. But I really love the apartment. It's freshly painted. You guys can't even tell. This is like purple. I, it, it looks like kind of white, but it's definitely purple. I really like it. It brightens up the room. I'm really happy here. So I'm going to check in with you guys in a little bit. I have to get ready because my boyfriend is coming back from work and we have to go to Bob's and we have to go to Key Food. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I figured I could show you guys what the bathroom looks like because <laughs> I um, will not be changing the bathroom. We ordered an Amazon cart to go right in between the sink and the wall because we had enough space and we had a bunch of stuff. This is hella convenient if you guys don't have a lot of space in your bathroom. I have like a mix of my boyfriend's stuff on one side, my stuff on the other side. It's obviously, you know, messy. I'm going to do some spring cleaning over the break. I just really had to unpack and just kind of get everything out. But I want to show you guys too. I got a Sephora haul because I guess it's mini. It's not a lot of stuff, but I needed to use my discount for the rouge sale. I literally just got Olaplex shampoo, conditioner, and can't even remember what I got. The leave-in conditioner, which I wanna try because it's supposed to make your hair less frizzy, and my hair is very thin and frizzy. I got a few foot masks, face masks. I got the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter and the number two Fair. I also got some just lip balm that was glossy. I really feel like I need to step up my game with some makeup sometimes. It kind of makes me feel alive. I just wish I did it more. And I got some bonding oil for my hair. Just the ordinary drops that go under your eyes so that way you don't look dead. I feel like I never show you guys what I look like. So I wanted to just show you this is what I'm in when I'm not at work. I'm literally just in a comfy hoodie. The, this is just a crew neck from Aerie and I'm in Aerie waffle pants and I'm gonna put on literally flip-flops I think because it's like 68 degrees out 
And that's the fit for today, so don't ask me about my style and don't comment on it because I know it's horrible, but it's cozy. I am like the product of the pandemic. I like comfort, so this is what we're going with today. Do any of your like significant others just always get caught at work for like a really long time and you're so impatient that you just have to sit and read something on your Kindle just to like relax because you're like, why can't I get my things done on time? It's so stressful. I am really bad at this. I like to make plans and stick to them because I like to revolve my day around how amazing my shower is going to be at the end of the day. And if I'm too tired, sometimes the shower can't be as long as I want it to be. That's definitely an issue. Like, I should really look into that. But anyway, <laughs> it is 546. I'm acting like it's 2 in the morning, um, but it's not. I'm currently reading on my Kindle The Stolen Air, um, An Enemies to Lovers Mafia Romance. It's the part of the Brutal Birthright series. I read the first one not knowing that it was like gonna blow up on TikTok, and then it did. And I was like, right, I didn't read the next one or any of the others, so I'm starting to read the second one today. I'm already 37% into it. It's really good. I am not really too gung-ho on like Mafia romances, like I could read this and then go read something else like I don't need to read something back to back to back to back like I don't know I didn't get like really sucked into it like that but I just also finished fun fact if you have Kindle Unlimited you can also get certain books um for audiobooks through Kindle Unlimited so I listened to Layla by Colleen Hoover in two days at work while I was report writing every single time I wasn't counseling a student I had my headphones in and I was like steamrolling through that book holy moly um i read verity which was like a thriller one of her thriller type of books but layla paranormal slash romance really crazy very different i like that it was different and yeah i i would honestly give it like a four out of five because of it being like a paranormal romance that's something i'm not used to so maybe with a more exposure to paranormal romance, I would enjoy it more. Anyway, I'm in my bed right now. Yes, this is behind me. I have just boxes still lined up. I'm not totally unpacked and I'm tired, so I'm not unpacking. But I do have boxes, not a lot. I got rid of like 85% of the stuff. So I did really good. And this is my Aragorn, <laughs> Aragorn Build-A-Bear. I love him, um, and I like his hood down because it looks like him. Anyway, I'm going to read my book now and wait for my boyfriend to come home. Good morning, you guys. It is 7.46, but I feel like I've been up for a lifetime because I woke up around 5.30, like, naturally. So, if you work in a school, you know, you know. Um, now, I literally just tidied up the apartment, went out for a walk. I also ran a mile. I'm literally so close to the park now. I'm so grateful and happy that I'm closer to the park because I could literally just walk, do my run, and come back and it's not like an hour and a half later because usually my walks were about an hour and a half because of how far I was from the park but I just love the park so much. I'm going to start my breakfast and I have to jump in the shower and get ready for work in a few hours. So let's do that.
it is 10 on the dot i made it and i'm just putting on my blue light glasses because i'm about to open my computer and get some work done because i have to submit my logs um that's every single saturday without without a doubt that's a guarantee for my saturday and after i submit those i already logged my hours for the week on my excel sheet now all i have to do is just submit the logs on blackboard and then i have i'm trying to think of the things that i have to do but over the break i have three reports that i want to try to get done it's not happening but it's what i want to do like the brain is willing the body is just not at this point i still haven't recovered from moving and uh, i just am not i'm not i need a reset <laughs> so bad but i have to do those reports eventually and i also have a counseling paper which is my last internship paper to write and i have i think one more research assignment plus the final paper but the final paper is just putting all of the assignments together and handing it in so it's really not too too crazy but that's kind of what's going on with school i also got my cap and gown in the mail and i hung it up this morning it's really weird guys like it's just <laughs> i feel like i i mean i've been on youtube like consistently for about two years now and watching back like my practicum experience and it's just it's surreal and i remember how excited i was when i got my internship and i i mean i still am excited like i love my internship but i'm excited to get a job and get paid so getting real close really excited also update i lied about the mafia thing earlier i i love this man like I am 55% of the way in to Stolen Air, and I have to say guys, I'm starting to think like a mafia person, even though I don't have the capabilities to engage in any of these things that they're doing. Um, however, it's like a Beauty and the Beast vibe, and I love Beauty and the Beast, so just saying, that's what's going on in here. So I'm going to submit my logs, probably read for a little bit. And then I'm going to try to work on those reports or my counseling paper. Okay. Also, I found my camera stabilizer. So thank goodness we are back in business. <laughs> okay. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit.